Hello everyone. This is the second video in the FortiGuard AI driven web security series. If you haven't watched the first video on web filtering, please do so at your convenience. I go over why web security is needed and I introduce FortiGuard Labs, which plays a crucial role in Fortinet's web security service. DNS filtering is a similar technique, but is different in specific ways. It can block entire domains, which includes all URLs listed within a domain, whereas web filtering blocks specific web pages. As you can see, the web security subscription is comprised of web and content, secure DNS, and video filtering. This video will specifically be covering DNS filtering. The FortiGuard Secure DNS service protects against sophisticated DNS-based threats including DNS tunneling, command and control server identification, and domain generation algorithms. DNS filtering provides full visibility into DNS traffic while blocking high-risk domains, including malicious newly registered domains, park domains, and more. Users can configure block settings at the DNS level based on various categories. The award-winning FortiGate Next Generation Firewall allows users to block connections at both DNS and connection level, for instance, botnet and command control domain blocking, thus providing the best and complete protection for N hosts. As I just mentioned, the FortiGate has full visibility into DNS traffic. Starting with FortiOS 7.0, the FortiGate can inspect DNS over TLS and DNS over HTTPS traffic. Here in the SSL Inspection Security Profile page on the FortiGate GUI, you can see the inspection configuration for DNS over TLS, which uses TCP port 853, and DNS over HTTPS, which uses TCP 443. I want to point out that some cybersecurity vendors offer their DNS protection as an additional service. Fortinet includes it in the Web Security Service subscription. In this first example, let's say you're a network administrator for a K through eight school, and you do not want students to access certain inappropriate domains. This is an example of how FortiGuard's web security can assist with compliancy. In this case, CIPA, or the Child Internet Protection Act. Here you can see that these domains are successfully being blocked. Let's take a look at the configuration in the FortiGate GUI. This is the DNS filter security profile page. I've configured the DNS profile named school, and here are all the FortiGuard provided domain categories. Now for the school profile, I have all the categories under adult mature content as blocked. In the firewall policy page, I've applied the school DNS filter profile to the appropriate firewall policy. Now let's have a look at the logs. The security events page can take you directly to the DNS filter logs. Here we can see the user, domain name, the FortiGuard DNS category, and the DNS filter profile and firewall policy. In this example, let's try to access a known botnet domain. You can see that the request was successfully blocked. Let's take a look at the configuration. I use a default DNS filter policy, and you can see here that I enabled the botnet and command and control feature. In the firewall policy page, you can see that I've applied the default DNS filter policy to the outbound firewall rule. In the DNS query logs, we can see that the request was identified correctly as a known botnet domain. Lastly, and just like in web filtering, I want to show the pre-configured filters feature that's only available in the desktop FortiGate models. This is a FortiGate 40F. These filters are like movie ratings because it's aimed for instances where the users are mainly children and teenagers. 
G is all ages admitted and is the strictest. PG-13 is more lenient, and R is the most lenient. There is even a custom filter where you can cater it to your needs. These pre-configured filters make creating the DNS filter security profile extremely simple and easy in these situations. Okay, that wraps up this presentation, which is the second of three in this series. I have the links below to the first video on web filtering and to the FortiGuard data sheet. I hope to see you in the next video where I cover FortiGuard's video filtering. Thank you for watching.